Hello everybody, this is Amy from Chateau de Rosière. Well, I managed two dailies before I fell, didn't I? Um, and that's just because of real life. So it comes to editing at the end of the day and that's when the kids need me. Um, and sometimes during the day and I'm teaching English at the school and uh, the weather's been weird and all sorts of things. So I've been filming for you but I just haven't been able to edit and I thought I was going to get I've got a really good one for you I thought I was going to be able to get it up tonight and then the cows escaped well precisely Uzel over there escaped from her field she can crawl under fences it's not the first time this week they seem to have some sort of thing going on about escaping at the moment I think it's conkers they like conkers on the driveway and I am paying the penance of having foolishly assumed that um, if I opened the gate, my beloved Praline, who's very much more sedentary, would stay where she was whilst I ushered Uzel back into her pasture. That didn't happen. Um, they both escaped. And so now I have to stand in a field persuading them to try and go back to the proper field because when they escaped a couple of days ago they ended up in a housing estate down the road don't know how they managed to squeeze through the tiniest barrier uh but it's a rather nice evening um so it's just me and my cows hanging and uh there's not much i can do up here i just wanted to tell you that i am filming everything and also i'm where are we we're behind um <laughs> Uh, the garages. In fact, I'm going to show you. Hold on just a second. I've discovered something really cool, and that is that when we had some archaeology students here a few years ago, um, one of our volunteers built an outdoor loo for them, and it's over here. I didn't know this. Mark reminded me, and I came to find it just now when the cows came up here. It's on its side, along with the sink graveyard and the sink. Uh, sinks for the future but the basis of it is there um, and I'm gonna try and stand it up in the next couple of days that's the base and work out what I need to do to resurrect it but the great thing is that there's at least an outline and Mark is going to dig a pit I know that a few of you have um, had concerns about how many toilets we need um, but um, loos aren't a really big French thing, I have to say. I've discussed this with others. And when we went to a concert with um, several hundred people the other day, there was one chemical toilet there. And given we're going to be a maximum of 100, that doesn't seem like um, a big problem to have one outdoor toilet. And I'll make it nice, I promise. Um, and... I had a few other answers to some um, comments and questions, but I think I'm going to do that once I'm sat back down somewhere um, inside and not chasing two Highland cows around a field. Uh, <laughs> but everything's going good. Today I ordered the music stands and um, the ticket sales are ticking up, as it were, which is a relief. Um, but actually, I can tell you a bit here. Um, a few people have mentioned things like uh, hiring minibuses and stuff um, as if uh, this is an inexpensive thing. And I should let you know that this concert is going to cost us a fortune. It's a trial, so we're happy for that. But the musicians are doing it for free. But because we live in the countryside, um, which is not a high income area, and because we have limited space, um, the tickets are priced so that people can actually come goodness what a state I look and uh, uh, which means maximum 15 euros for adults and free for kids 100 people so do the maths it's not very much money and it's not even I don't think it's even going to cover the accommodation for the um, musicians I've got to buy music stands uh, flaming torches for the driveway uh, electric candles for the for the um, barn 
uh, we've got food and drink for the musicians for a week of rehearsals. We've got a lot of outgoings um, and nothing covering them right now. And in the future, we're going to get sponsorship. Great. This year we don't. And hiring a minibus would cost an absolute fortune. So unfortunately, luckily, people in this area only park in fields because there are no car parks. And luckily, walking 100 metres or 300 feet along a fairly level driveway whose potholes I will have filled in um, is not that uh, big a deterrent for people around here. I don't think it is for anybody, to be quite honest. It's uh, probably no further than you walk if you're in a going from the car park to across the supermarket. Um, so I've done, I do it with the pram regularly with my girl in it. So I know it can be done by wheelchairs. Um, so I think we'll be all right with that. And uh, yeah, it's all going really well. I will be back with you soon. I'm not gonna promise dailies. I'm gonna promise as often as I can. It's not as snappy a title, but it's the reality. Uh, assuming none of my crazy animals escape, um, it should, there should be one tomorrow uh, with some exciting stuff. And then um, reinforcement of floors and things next week. Thanks for staying with me. Bye. The very naughty cows. No. That way. Who's in? Not up. Don't look at me like that.